uh, owning properties and, and renting them out in order to earn cash flow has some huge advantages. Number one, you get depreciation of the asset. <clears throat> so you, you, you bought this property and uh, you're able to depreciate the construction costs, not the land, but you're able to depreciate those construction costs uh, over a period of usually typically 27 and a half years. So you have depreciation of the asset, and then of course you have the cash flow that comes in from rents or, or leases or whatever you have. So uh, holding real estate has two beneficial aspects. You've got the cash flow, then you have the depreciation. Lastly, you have the appreciation of the underlying asset over a period of time. So there's three great benefits of holding and of real estate, whether it be a single family residence, commercial property, or even multifamily. You got the depreciation, you have the appreciation, and then you have the cash flow. So uh, these can earn uh, you know, significant profits for an individual holding title to that property. And so uh, I have done very, very well in SFR holdings as well as commercial holdings in some of my multifamily. Why am I not in that today? Because we can actually even do better than that as being a lender and I don't have the hassle of ownership. So for me personally, I'm a lender. I'm heavily invested in zinc. Uh, we do nearly 100 to 150 million a year in lending, and I'm heavily invested in that. But for the average person, I don't see a problem with uh, holding real estate. It's one of the uh, few uh, investment strategies that can actually create substantial material wealth over a period of time versus other uh, asset classes.